Hey Bugs, it's Deborah here from Body Garbage and welcome back to my channel. I see that there are more of you so I just want to say welcome to all the new people. If you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I missed you guys. I hope you missed me. If you have, leave it down in the comments below. And we are going to be doing some new things on this channel. Um, for the most part, I do not plan on making um, bar soap this year we will see how that goes um, today we will be making our cold process liquid soap paste um, this soap paste will be going for um, a plethora of how do I put this gift sets that I'll be making I'll probably be making about five or six throughout the year for the year for purchase and that's it um i may um do some other stuff with um soap paste as well and you guys will see that i will be doing a series of videos for each gift set and this one that we're going to start off with will be our um winter solstice um and that will be a sugar plum fairy so um i haven't really decided everything right now that i want in the gift set but there will be a liquid soap possibly a bath bomb and maybe a spray and some other stuff i'm not too sure yet as i said but as we go along you will see the videos for that and that's how i will be doing things um unfortunately i will not be doing any collaborations this year either so if you were thinking about it please don't ask um i have a lot of soap that I have left over from last year that was unnecessary soap and not that I didn't have fun in the collaborations or anything like that it's just that I have a lot of inventory left over that I don't need um and so it was really financially and physically a waste of time and money for me so right now I won't um be doing any of that just to keep it real and keep it honest with you guys so that being said let's go into the video this is a video mostly of mixing and blending I'll be doing a little bit of talking about nonsense about other things um, so if you want to stick around then check it out um, there is a time lapse at the end um, so again thank you guys for sticking around thank you guys for um, subscribing if you're new again don't forget to subscribe check down in the description box below I have a rumble account and you can check that out and see the behind the scenes with the scenes in the scenes if you want to be in the scenes with me and I also have a mukbang channel which is an eating channel so if you're interested in that as well I would love the support from my soap family if you guys would be able to check that out in my featured um, channel section that I have on this channel um, and go and subscribe there watch a couple of videos um, if you like some videos a lot of videos maybe all the videos have some choice language but like I said it's just all the for the support of me so if you don't mind i would appreciate that and let's get into this video so i'm happy to be back um i will see you guys in the next part of this video for a liquid soap um well i don't know if it's gonna be another yeah it'll be for liquid soap but i'll see you guys in the next part of this video um and then um as we go along with the different sets so Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, um, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Happy Holidays that I've missed. Um, I know I've been gone for a while, but um, hopefully I'll be back consistently. I haven't come up with a schedule just yet, but for now it'll most likely just be Saturdays, maybe Friday and Saturday, but we will see how things go. So just stick with me as you have, and I appreciate that. And again, I will see you guys. I did that all wrong. Open up, you open up. Bitch, you won't be me and my. We should be closer than friends. Alrighty, bugs. So we have our soap um, base oils here. We have our KOH. So I'm just going to pour this in. And they're both pretty warm 
they're about within the same degree of each other i know uh koh i believe it um cools down much quicker than um sodium hydroxide so we're just gonna buzz this up for a few minutes and let's see what happens So I'm gonna take a little break. I do have a lot of um, soft oils in here, so it is going to take quite some time for this to come to trace. If you want to make your own liquid soap, um, just be wary of the um, ingredients that you're using, meaning the oils, and particularly how long it's going to take for this um, type of soap to come to trace. Um, especially if you're doing it this way, the cold process way, if you don't have any patience and you don't have a lot of time, then you may want to add um, some hard oils. Not a lot because you don't want your soap to end up having sediment at the bottom or ending up very cloudy. Or both because that can happen. Especially if you're using stuff that has a lot of unsubtitifiables like, um, or that will have leftover bits in layman's terms like shea butter cocoa butter um different things like that Ooh. make sure you're not overheating your um stick blender because it will do that and it will stop working so just pace yourself and mix in between especially can be a lot hard um, on your hand if you're not ambidextrous so just pace yourself it's not a race you just want to make good soap so we have been mixing for about six minutes almost just about I'm going to give my arm a break and my stick blender so it can cool back down some and we're gonna give our soap a break and we're gonna come back in about 10 minutes or so and we're gonna continue to stick blend again this is a very lengthy process so you might want to um do this the hot process way even that is lengthy but um the end result always comes out great so just keep that in mind hey bugs we're back it's been a few minutes and it's still very liquidy but we're going to keep forging through by giving this some more of a buzz i'll I was about to say our liquid soap. <laughs> our uh, stick blender has cooled down some significantly. It just started heating up. So let's get back to buzzing. I'm starting to get somewhere. Still liquidy, but we're getting to a little trace. Not the trace we need to be at, but we're getting there. Don't worry about the air bubbles. That'll happen. Every single time I made cold process <coughs> liquid soap paste, this is what it does. I'm going to use my spatula just to mix a little bit. I'm 
and get what I can from off the sides. If you hear <clears throat> the television in the back, my nephew is playing his game, so don't be alarmed. I'm not at a basketball game, although I wish I was. That would be fun. I love going to sporting events, even though most of the time I have no idea what's going on. Um, basketball and hockey would definitely be my favorite because the fans get so hyped. As, ooh, excuse me, especially for um, hockey. get about a pudding I'm trying to reach taffy <laughs> been blending for another six minutes mixing and blending so right about now once again we're at that point where I'm gonna let my stick blender rest and yes, this is the process of making um, liquid soap. <laughs> so if you don't have the patience, then you might want to second guess making liquid soap unless you're going to um, make the liquid soap that has a lot of surfactants in it and you're not making a soap base or paste. Or you may want to buy your own soap paste <clears throat> from like Bramble Berry or, you know, someplace like that. Me, I prefer to make my own. So this is what we're going in with. So we're right now, like I said, about pudding. I'm going to let this rest again. This is still hot. So that's why it's able to go through the different stages. I'm going to let my stick blender um, cool down as well. Let my hand rest. And I will be back once again. So are you done with me saying that we're back yet? Um, I waited a few more minutes this time around. My, um, stick blender is still warm. And so is my solution down here, but it's sticking it up. So we're going to go ahead and stick blend again for another six minutes. And we have a thick, thicker pudding now. Hey, Kobe! He came in the kitchen to watch me or stalk me I'm not sure and by the way I came back after um, just a little under 20 minutes and this is where we are Trying to get thick on me. Oh, yeah, baby. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, baby. Talk dirty to me so I can get clean. This is how happy I get when my soap starts to thicken up. Did y'all miss me? Because I missed y'all. Let me know in the comments. Why you come out your room like a whole drug dealer? Take them the money. Kobe left me guys. My nephew went downstairs and Kobe ran away with him. Ooh, hands starting to tighten up. Let's mix for a little while. See how much fluffy it is getting. It's starting to look like, like a custard. No more pudding, but custard. <sighs> Almost like a creme brulee without the brulee. And it's still pretty hot, so that's good. It means it'll keep cooking. This is sort of similar to um, as if I were making a um, 
a hot process soap without um, the crock pot so a high or low temperature um, hot process um, oven process the, what the hell am I talking about a high pro hot, shit uh, hot process in a container like this y'all know what I'm trying to say I'm tired Or a tabletop, wherever it is that you're making your soap, but you know what I mean. Hot oil, hot lye, and it go kaboom. Well, not kaboom, but it rises like a volcano. Then you use a stick blender to blend it on down. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then let me know in the comments and I'll make um, a video like that for you guys so you can actually see the process. I believe I've done it before, but if you need a refresher, since I've been gone for a while, do not mind making that so for you guys so you can see but you have to let me know down below so i don't waste my time doing it <laughs> bella is working today y'all and if y'all know who bella is bella is the stick blender that's her name see right there say bella another six minutes you can actually go for 10 minutes um i have a bad hand which is actually my dominant hand so i have to let my hand rest as well as my stick blender so i don't want to hurt my hand too much in the process of making this soap I'm going to go back and finish watching my episodes of Homicide Hunter. I love Lieutenant Kenda. This um, season, if it hasn't ended yet, is the last season. Um, but I have Hulu, and I'm not sure what other streaming service it may be on. I know it should come on the ID network, but Hulu has all of the seasons, um, I believe, except for maybe the last one since it just came out. And um, I've just been binge watching it. So if you like crime shows, then check out um, Homicide Hunter. Lieutenant Kenda is the truth. So I'm going to once again, I'm going to wipe this up. Let this sit. I may come back in maybe about another 15 to 20 minutes. And um, as you can see, it's like a custard like i said so still hot starting to thicken up um getting to where we need to be once we're able to no longer stick blend then i'm gonna go in with this wooden spoon right here and mash it up some and hopefully we will have a paste by then so we'll see um how it goes be back all right let's see what we got here now looks like oh 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 here we go oh oh here we go let me see if i can get in here with i was about to say becky with bella no i can't this is what we was looking for that's what i'm looking for that's what i'm looking for so we gonna go in here some of this is translucent other parts are not so much but that's okay let me get this out of here come on don't be bad all right all right all right let's go in here like this oh this is real thick mix it all up What's that song? Put the lime in the coconut and mix it all up. What is that for? Margarita? <sighs> or 
Yeah, we had to be margarita. I think. Y'all let me know in the comments. Okay. So that time I had left this for about 25 minutes. Oh, good Lord. I'm going to leave it again. Just want to mix it up. Make it all even. Still significantly warm. Which is a good thing. You can see um, some parts. Let me zoom in a little. What the heck? There we go. Some parts are translucent. Others are still white. But it's very thick to where we need it to be. But it still has to um, cook some more. I'm going to let this set again. Seriously. And finish watching Lieutenant Kenda. Another episode is coming on. The episode I was just watching. This guy was a wannabe biker. Lost. He was um, a war vet. He was in Vietnam. Lost his wife. Lost his kids. Was living in the, uh, you might as well say a bunker. Um, at his parents' house, which is a concrete shed in the back. And he had a full-on arsenal of weapons. Semi-automatic this and automatic that. Some that he even illegally, um, how do you say it? Um, what in the world? Modified. Some that he even illegally modified. Like, he would buy semi-automatic weapons and modify them to make them um, automatics. A like dude was crazy. He just walked up into a biker bar and started opening up fire with an AK-47. And then tried to lie and make his uh, statement that he was giving to the um, detectives that, oh, you know, they were picking on me and blah, blah, blah. I don't care who was picking on what. I mean, if you want to put hands on somebody, you want to fight, then fight. But you don't have to go in the guns blazing like this is the damn Wild Wild West and shooting people up. And mind you, this was somebody's birthday party that he walked into. Didn't know any of these people from a can of paint. He just wanted some glory. And he killed several people in the process just because... He wanted some adventure. He hated his life. He hated his wife. Didn't want his kids. Like, for most people, that's the American dream. To have a family of their own. Um, have a good job. Be known as, you know, a veteran. Or a war hero. Whatever the case may be. And you just squander it all away because you're crazy. So this is what we're looking like now, folks. I'll be back probably in another half an hour. Hopefully by then, it'll fully be um, translucent. And then we should have our paste. I will dilute it in the next video. And I really want this to sit overnight. So we'll be back and see what we have in another half an hour. And then we will close out our video. So we are all done with this video. Um, sorry if you hear the TV. I still have Joe Kenda playing in the background. Homicide Hunter ID Network. Check it out if you're interested. We're going to finish letting this sit overnight. And in the next video, when it's time to dilute and all that good stuff, um, you'll see how this one looks. I'll probably take pictures. So uh, make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see my pictures. Check out my rumble so you can see behind the scenes with the scenes. If you want to be a part of the scenes with me. Um, also, I have my eating channel, so if you like to watch my eating show, it is some type selective language on there, but if you don't mind, support me please. Check that out, it is a featured channel on this channel. Till then, I bid you guys adieu.
piece. Open up, you open up, bitch you won't be me and my, we should be closer than friends, uh. 